Hi everyone, this is Raluca and I am doing a haul video for you guys today from the drugstore Alta and Victoria's Secret. So if you want to see what I got, keep watching. First item that I got from Alta is this really really cute Hello Kitty nail polish. This is Charmy and Sugar. It's more it's more a top coat than a standalone nail polish. I think it'd go really good over like white or uh, purple. Or you can, you know, just wear it like that if you like that kind of stuff. The next thing that I got is this hand cream. Uh, and I gotta be honest, I got it because of the packaging, of course. I'm a sucker for the packaging, for the cute packaging uh, that Asian products have. This is by Tony Molly. This is what it looks like. Uh, it literally has a banana and kind of bubblegummy scent. From Victoria's Secret, I decided to get, uh, these were two for 10. And so I ended up getting this body lotion. The fragrance is called Hypnotized. And then the other one that I got is a Amber Romance hand and body cream from Victoria's Secret and this one is one of my all-time favorites. First thing I got uh, from Walmart is this CoverGirl Star Wars um, the Super Sizer mascara and I really like um, you know indeed you are powerful kind of message on it. I am a sci-fi uh, geek so of course I had to go for these. I love the wand of this mascara and um, it works really really well. I thought that it gave good length and volume to my lashes which are small because I have hooded slanted eyes and I cannot work with those big gigantic wands that some of these mascaras have. This is perfect for smaller size eyes. The next thing that I got from CoverGirl Star Wars collection is this lipstick in the color 70 and uh, I really like the little messages they have with the logo the force awakens and so this is the color it's like a brown with gold shimmer in it it's a very pretty color I think I would like uh, to wear it more in the summertime than now but I like it the next couple of things I got are from Maybelline and this is the Age Wind Eraser or whatever you want to call it. I had a couple of these before and I decided to repurchase one because it works really good. I really like how it has this little sponge. I already started using this one. Now the next thing I got from Maybelline again is this Master Prime eyeshadow base eyeshadow primer and I got mine in color 410 this one is a very beautiful pearly kind of shade it is amazing it kind of reminds me of uh, Urban Decay Sin a little bit um, it, my eyeshadow I used it once already and my eyeshadow stayed on for all day here's a swatch of it and you know, I think that uh, many of you uh, are, are going to like this um, eyeshadow primer. I believe it was around six dollars, if I remember correctly. And um, yeah, it stays on very, very good. I think this is going to be a serious competition to a lot of the eyeshadow primers out there. I have extremely oily eyelids, and this one lasted very good throughout the day. The next thing I got is this City 24 hour waterproof eyeshadow from NYC. So I got mine in color Tribeca Taupe 610. It is a very beautiful taupe. I have not used this one yet so I don't know how it is going to perform. And here's a swatch. The next few items I'm going to share with you are from Rimmel London. And this is a Kate lipstick. In color 45, it's called Rosetto. It's very nice and moisturizing. It has a nice um, glossy finish to it, so I really like it. 
The last item I got from Rimmel London is another Kate product and it's one of those things that seems to be really popular now uh, that comes with the uh, you know blush, uh, contour and highlight. Here it tells you on how to do it on your face. I got mine in color Coral Glow number 2. Here are the colors and the shades of it. And here you have a quick swatch of the uh, Rimmel um, blush, highlight and bronzer. Mm, not super pigmented when I swatch them, so we'll see how they perform. And the last thing I got from Walmart is this uh, e.l.f. Hello Hydration Cleanser, Moisturizer and Eye Cream came in. This set was about $18. This is the uh, facial cleanser, this is the daily hydration moisturizer, and this is the illuminating eye cream, and what you get is 0.49 ounce. And this one was a little bit of a shocker because, let me just show you, the package is pretty good size, right? It's pretty bulky and all. And when you get, when you look at it, it's like, uh, it makes you feel like, where's the product? Because it looks like it's half empty. I mean, if you were to give out 0.49, I think that you maybe would, um, you know, use maybe a smaller size of these containers 